Hey guys, um, I'm here to talk to you today about how to fill in the Explore log. Um, I know that you guys have done this before and some of you have even worked on it for um, your science, but I'm just going to remind you what this looks like and what it is. So in your Google Classroom, you're going to find your Explore log, which looks like this. Okay, um, yours is going to be empty. Might have added a few things. And you're also... Uh, you're also going to find your list of resources and websites, okay, which is this one right here. You are going to explore several different places. I want you guys to be thinking about what it is that you have learned recently that interests you. What is it about solar system, space, astronomy? What is it that really has you interested and, and is something you want to explore further? You guys can click around any of these. These are from your science teachers, they are reliable. Remember, if there's something you're not sure about, it's okay to double check. Um, but these have been verified as reliable websites. So what you guys are gonna do is, for your explore log, you're gonna click around on one of these different websites, find something you're interested in. Maybe my computer doesn't like that one. I'll try a different one. So, you're going to find whatever it is that you are interested. So mapping the galaxy, that would be awesome. Clicking on that. Learn more about it. We can do it. There it is. Um, so you, you can read all about how this awesome technology is being made so we can map all the different stars and planets and anything in the different galaxies. Awesome. Let's say this is something I'm really interested in. I'm going to go ahead and copy the web address, come over to my explore log, and paste the URL right here in the source citation. Now, dip in or dive deep. If it's something that I'm like, okay, this was interesting, but I don't know if I really want to spend that much time on, I'm going to put dip in. If it's something that you're sitting there like, this is something really cool, I'm going to come back and I'm going to research it and I'm going to use this as a resource maybe in my process my project I would put dive or dive deep okay now your notes you're not just gonna put it was useful because it was about mapping the stars no no no. help to to explain to other people why this is interesting or information that they should care about you can use direct quotes here so you can look through this and and understand and if there's any different pictures or anything like that that you were like, this is really important, I want to add this. You can add that on your Explore log. This is a place for you to put the notes as to why this was a dip in or why this was a dive deep. Help you, you understand what was so important about that website. Don't just rush through and find 10 URLs and be like, done. That's not going to help you with anything. That's not going to help you to understand. And when we go to create our identify question, you're going to be stuck. So remember, Source citation is this. This is the URL up here. It's the URL. Dip in means it's just a quick look about, not something that you think has too much information, but was just fun to look at. Dive deep is something where you're going to be able to find the information later. You want to go back and look at this. You want to research this some more. And then your notes are what about this was useful, why you want to look at this. You can put charts or graphs or anything like that. You want to use complete sentences here, so that way you're able to be successful. All right, guys, have fun exploring. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to email me or stop by the library and see me, and I would be happy to help. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.